Hi, my name is Hamza Jacobs. I'm an IT trainer with New Horizons in London. I'm here today just to show you a couple of cool little tips and tricks on Windows 7 and Office 2010. How to create a VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel 2010. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup and it's extremely useful to look up values against a data set. The example I have here, I've got a number of IDs listed out here. Now, these are my employee IDs and they quite often mean nothing to me. All I'm interested in is the person's name. On the employee sheet, you'll notice I have a list of all the employee IDs person's last name, first name, date of hire and department and office location and extension. So let's say all I want to do here is I want to know what the person's first name is relative to the ID listed on the left hand side. That's where VLOOKUP comes in perfectly. As I mentioned it says vertical lookup. So all VLOOKUP is going to do, I'm going to say find this value in this column and it's going to vertically run down the column, find the value, and then it will return the first name for me back into the cell. That's VLOOKUP. So vertically looks up a value. When it matches that value, it returns another value in the same row next to that. So think, find the NI number and give me the person's phone number. Think, find the client name and give me the revenue. Right, so find something that lives in the leftmost column. So let's have a quick look at it. I'm going to type in equals. Obviously, we start off with the equal sign for our formulae. Now, one of the nice features in Excel 2010 and 2007, as you start typing, look, as I start typing V, it gives me every formula or every function that starts with V. I type in VL, it leaves me with VLOOKUP. So I can either use my mouse to double my mouse to double click or use the tab key on the keyboard and that gives me VLOOKUP. Now it also lists out your requirements here. Notice it's got lookup value, table, column and as such. Now if you're starting out with a formula sometimes it can be a bit difficult. So what I advise a lot of people to do is you can hit the FX button, the insert function button at this point after the bracket. This now gives you a very nice breakdown and easily explains your VLOOKUP. Firstly, we have our lookup value. Lookup value is explained at the bottom here. The value to be found in the first column of the table. So I am looking for this value. And an important point there is it looks up in the first column of a table. So it will always look in the leftmost column of your table. Okay, so just remember that, the first column or the leftmost column. The table array, this is where you would like it to look up. So I simply go into the table array and now I need to select the data that contains all of my data entries, all of my values. So I'm going to go to the employee sheet at the bottom and select all of my data. Note, remember what I said earlier? It always looks up in the leftmost column, yep. So it always looks in the first column, so that's perfect. It's going to look for the employee ID over there. I'm going to fix those cells down using the dollar signs, of course. Absolute reference. Nice keyboard shortcut for that is F4. The next step is to enter the column you'd like returned. So what have I got so far? I've got what would you like to find? That's A2, that's my lookup value. Where would you like to find that value? That's my table array. That's my employee's sheet data. The next one, the final one there uh, that is required is the column index number. This is the column that you would like returned. Now, this is a bit confusing for some people because you will look at this data and say, okay, you're looking up the first column, that's A, fine. I want the name, the first name back. That's column C. But the index number is actually the numerical value of that column. So within my table, all I have to do is I go count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven, seven columns, but C is actually one, two, three. It's the third column. So what you do is you put the number three in over there. 
Right, so you don't put the column number in or the column name. Look at your table and count it off. One, two, three. That's the third column. Finally, the range lookup is whether you would like an exact or close match. So remember, what it's going to do is it's going to take this 3113 and go and look for it in that column. If you leave this blank, it will try and find the closest value, which may not be what you're looking for. The range lookup over there, I'm going to type it in as false. You could even put the number zero in there. What this does is it forces an exact match. Remember, if you leave this blank, it tries to find the closest value, which in this case is not that good because we want to find the exact ID. We don't want to find an ID closest to it. So we're putting the, num the word false in there or the number zero. Forces an exact match. Click OK. It returns Daniel. I can now use the bottom right corner of my cell, the autofill, the black cross. Give that a double click. That fills in. And you can see I've got two Elizabeths and two Angelas there. See the same entry over there. If I look back, 5250. 5250 is Elizabeth. 4327 is also Elizabeth. 4327. If I wanted to change the formula real quick, I could click on the cell, hit the FX button, and perhaps change the column to column number seven. This will return the extension for me. And that's now given me each person's extension. That was how to create a VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel.